Hello there and welcome back to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys as Christmas countdown. We're on number 21 today. So let's open number 21. Again, it's one of those difficult doors. And I can Wow. Hey, what did I say? What did I say yesterday? 1950. Oh, that is brilliant. I think I like that better than the uh, the other ones that we've got. So we've got we've got four Marty's now. So there you go. Put him on his skateboard. Fantastic. Maybe tomorrow we'll get his cuffs because we always get cuffs with the figures. Don't we? <laughs> oh yes. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. That's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Come back tomorrow for number twenty-two. In at number four on our Christmas movie countdown is Scrooged. Frank Cross doesn't really get Christmas and doesn't see why anyone else should unless there's an opportunity to up the ratings for his TV channel. So visits three Dickensian ghosts who teach him a thing or two about seasonal spirit. Slick and cynical update of the Dickens classic. Funny or so long as Bill Murray's venal TV network president is being a complete bastard. The open machine gun attack on Santa's Elvin workshop is a hoot. Some may think this is even a stretch for Bill Murray's capabilities, but I disagree. Some great performances in this movie, including David Johansson's Yellow Cab Spook and Carol Kane's Evil Fairy Ghost. Even Robert Mitchum puts in a great but short performance. But this is a Bill Murray vehicle, and he's front and centre, and so he should be. And he has great chemistry with his love interest, Karen Allen. It's just a shame we haven't had many more Bill Murray Christmas movies. Just have your tissues ready for that ending. So here we are with number 21 of the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. Let's say open this door without further ado and see what we've got today. And we've got a um, snowman droid gonk type thing, I think. I think that's what it's meant to be. Uh, another interesting build. Quite a number of bricks with this one. That's not so bad. Value for money on this one. It's all value for money. You get your value for money in your, in your figures. Um, I know we've got one, at least one figure left. And that's number 25, which is Darth Vader. But I don't know if we've got any more figures. I suppose this is a figure as well, to be honest with you. Um, so let's start. Should we start with the bottom? Start with the feet. So we've got the two feet. And... Um, I believe it could be it's one of these anyway I don't know if it's that's that one oh, see him struggling already Um, that goes in there and he got his carrot nose and then that goes on top of that. I think I'm going to do the t the, the body, main body first, because that looks more simple, in a way, if you like. Might is what you can. So that's that's once that's for the legs. So that's that's there. That's oops, not that one. That one is on the top for his top hat, black stud first so his top hat can go on so there's the body because he can put his arms in so that's your body so we'll build it up from there I think it's got your blue bit and your two semicircles which are that way I don't know, you'll have to comment, uh, if you're actually watching these to help you build them, God forbid, <laughs> but, what's that, how's that, is that going, that, yeah, it goes there, doesn't it, yeah, 
But um, if you're just watching just to have a laugh at me trying to build Lego again, or um, <laughs> I say, if, uh, oh, there you go. That's that's what that's what the feet were on. See, it doesn't show you that bit. So there you go. That I assume is a gonk snowman, which is pretty cool, actually. I'll do like that. The spare bits can go in the spare bit pile for later on. There you go, gunk. Snowman gunk. Anyway, go back tomorrow for number 22. We're getting close. May Santa be with you.